Hi, this is Julian from Luminatic.com. Photo bags are an endless topic for a photographer. Over time, a lot of photo bags amass at home and uh, you usually have too many or, uh, depending on how you see it, not enough photo bags. So I'd like to give you a quick overview on the bags I am using and describe a little bit what they are about. So let's start with the smallest one here. That's a crumpler. It's a small day bag. It's called Pretty Boy 7500 and it can hold a DSLR and perhaps a flash gun. You've got a compartment here for accessories like batteries, your wallet, smartphone or something like that. And I usually use it only if we are out with the family for a few hours and I just want to take the camera with me to make a few photos. So it's not for a complete day out because then it's uh, the bag when it's hanging over your shoulder it gets a little heavy and stressy if you have it all the time. But for a short period this one is okay. So that's the smallest version I have. There's this photo bag, it's also from Crumpler. And I use it only for vacations because the camera compartment is down here and it's got quite an odd shape. So the form of the compartment was following the form of the backpack. So you can fit a DSLR in here but there's a lot of wasted space because it's not designed to hold a DSLR so it's not the most space saving solution. You can take this out. Anyhow, oh, and now I found some scrap and a button here. Okay, that's nice. And uh, in the top part, there is a place for a notebook. You can put a notebook in here. So, this is usually when I'm on vacation and I need, for example, um, the travel guide goes in here and the wallet and if you need to drink or eat something you can also store it in here. And I don't use it on photo shoots because uh, it can't hold too much equipment. These are the ones I use occasionally and only on small shootings uh, with the family when I'm just for one hour away. Um, but these ones here, this one and this one, is, um, are the backpacks which I use regularly on shootings. Uh, this one is from Low Pro and it's called, where's the name again, Flipside 400AW. Um, the, oh look, there's the camera strap still in here and uh, the, the zipper for opening the compartment with the camera is here on the back so if you uh, carry the backpack like this it's uh, good against stealing so people can't without you noticing open it and take away the camera the bag here is for the compartment here is for yeah everything else so batteries filters anything you'd like to carry. It has straps or side pockets for a barrel of water or uh, you can attach your tripod here. Um, it has also for bigger tripods this uh, here, you can fold that out, put the tripod in here, fasten it with this one and you're ready to go. Also, because this is an outdoor backpack, this can hold quite some equipment. It has um, a compartment down here with a rain cover. The rain cover folds out, it's attached to the backpack and you can put it over here and then the gear is protected against rain. As I said, I'm using this backpack quite often on photo shootings because it's mainly for equipment so the space uh, is 90% used for usable for equipment and uh, here you can see the inside so usually I have a DSLR here, another lens, tripod and anything you'd like to carry here so that can uh, hold quite some equipment for a decent photo shoot. If you've got small travel sized uh, lighting stands then they can go on the sides and you can carry the flash guns here so you can 
uh, be very mobile with your small on-location photo shoot. That's what I use quite often. The only disadvantage here is it can't hold a notebook. There's no notebook compartment. So if you'd like to carry a computer with you, you need something else. And this is where this comes into play. That's uh, the bigger version. That's um, the Fastpack 250AW2. It's, all it's also from Low Pro, And um, it has several compartments. Let's say the first one here is for the notebook. You put the notebook or a tablet in here. Then you have a big compartment for your accessories. That's also quite a big one. It goes up to this size here. So the whole top is for your wallet, something to drink, accessories, whatever you like. Uh, it has some uh, nets in here and you can put a pen and uh, there's a, a, a chain for your key and also another compartment with a zipper for documents and the camera goes in here you've got this flap which goes over here there's another compartment zone on top of this and the camera actually goes in here so it opens sideways and the camera goes in here and then you can here put a flash gun and whatever you need um, you have less space for your photographic equipment in here because you have a big space up here for anything else for the uh, notebook here you have some space um, but you don't have a lot of room for the padded dividers here so here you have basically the whole backpack inside is with padded dividers to organize all your stuff and uh, here it's just this part but the trick the idea behind this one is that you have fast access to your equipment so let's say you're out on the photo shoot you're walking and then you see something and you want to photograph it then you can just take it off like this flip it around and <laughs> that was the wrong direction I'm sorry Again, take it off flip it around here that's correct now open it and then you can take out the camera like this I'm not going into all the details there are also some smaller pockets for for memory cards and other stuff and this one I use when I need to take a notebook obviously I used it for the BMW Motorrad days in 2018 because I was holding a presentation there on motorcycle photography so I needed the notebook I was also traveling with the bike so this is a larger backpack if you compare these two but they are uh, let's say a, each backpack has a special purpose and this is if you need more equipment and this is if you need still carry a lot of stuff but also need a notebook but the main bulk of my luggage, of my photographic luggage, when I go shooting is in this case. That's a Pelly case. They are virtually indestroyable. They are also used by the military. You can take them into the desert, throw them into the water. They are ultra robust. And I have organized most of my stuff in here. See, nothing falls out. So there are there's some stuff missing now because the one of the cameras is recording here, the other one is upstairs. But you've got, uh, this is a Pelly 1560 uh, with padded dividers and this uh, top inlay. And here you can transport everything. And this is what I take on the photo shoot. So all the equipment is in here. Um, I ordered a second one like this from uh, BMW. Not BMW, but B and W. That's a German company manufacturing basically the same. And this will be for the lighting because I now switched to big studio lights, um, Godox flashes, and they didn't fit in here anymore. Uh, so in in the wake of the transition from flash guns to the bigger studio flashes, I needed a second case that will be basically the same with padded dividers. This is very heavy. Of course, not very portable. If you, in terms of a backpack, is very portable, you can 
put it on, walk a mile to the next location and then uh, continue shooting. This is a little bit more limited here, but it's, I found this to be uh, the best solution for on-location shoots. It's robust, uh, it's portable in terms of having rollers. Here there are rollers and it also has an external grip, so you can pull it like a trolley. And uh, it's dust uh, proof, it's waterproof, and um, yeah, as I said, virtually indestroyable. It's not inexpensive though, but uh, it's a very good investment if you want to protect and carry your gear. So that's basically the equipment, all the, the bags and cases I am using. I hope I could uh, show you something you liked and see you next time. Thank you very much.